Alright, uh, this video is going to be about Pokemon Bank and Poke Transfer. Um, as you can tell, I have Pokemon Br Bank, and then we also have Poke Tr Mover. It's supposed to be Poke Transfer, I think, or whatever, but uh, it's the transfer service that transfers your 5th gen to 6th gen and uh i really like the jingle for for it as well but funny how the title screen music is not that like it stops in just a bit but um i'm gonna go over the poke mover first because then that'll lead me to fear because um it takes a while to get to like I don't want it to be loading up and all that forever for you all, so let's just get right into it. Um, this is going to be in all Japanese, by the way, because it's not even out in America or Europe yet. And yeah, that's just the title screen song. <laughs> Now you need a now you need a Nintendo ID to do both services if you don't already know that, which I'm pretty sure you do. And pretty much, it first logs you in. Um, you can log in. You you can save the password so you don't have to type it in every time. And this service literally it's like a one minute transfer service, and uh, it only transfers the Pokemon that are in box number one and that's anything that's in there you can't like if you have something that's in your box one that you don't want transferred take it out immediately because that's uh going to get transferred if you have it in box number one so i'm going to use a uh, one pokemon as a uh, example and it's going to be a uh, gen a gen 5 exclusive so as you can tell I can't even remember the name of it because I usually have nickname on them. But um, it's the pre-evolution of the one that I usually use. However, um, you can transfer up to uh, 30 Pokemon all at the same time. But once you transfer them, you gotta, uh, you have to go back into the game, put them in box one, which I named Bug because that was the beginning of the alphabet. And actually, was it? Yeah, I think. That was the beginning of the alphabet, so I put bug in first. And so, all you do is press I uh, OK, as it would be in America, or anywhere else that speaks English. And if you heard that sound, that's the sound of it saving. So it's been transferred. And that's it with the Pokemover. That's how simple it is. I mean, seriously, if I would have talked, that would have been like, what, one minute? So, that's if the servers were doing good, because I was having problems with the servers when it first came out. And now, America and Europe has to pay, well, North America and uh, Europe has to pay for that, while anyone that uh, didn't buy, didn't get it in J Japan, didn't get this in Japan. Yeah. Sorry! Um... So, Bo Pokebank is a little more complicated than that, though. That was just a simple app to move uh, Pokemon from 5th gen to 6th gen. Pokebank, I don't even know what all the functions are, uh, per se. Because I don't know Japanese. However, I can get by. Um, as you can tell, I even made an account, so I can get by without worrying about what to do. <laughs> So, whenever it loads up, it's telling me I only got 24 days because I've already been in trial for thir uh, 6 of the 30 days. So, it's asking me do I want to renew. He can say yes, and it'll say how much it is for a year to add 365 days to it, which it's 500 yen, converts to about 5 bucks in, uh, in North America. Not sure what that is in pounds, but um, either way... Five bucks, not that bad for what it can do. For what it can do. Um, and then it just tells you how many uh, how many days you got left. I f I'm not sure what that is, though. But 
Either way, I don't need to renew it. Hopefully it'll come out before I need to renew it. Because, or hopefully it'll come out in US so I can transfer it here. And, uh, or not here, but, uh, but here. And then transfer that to there sometimes. And so forth, but right now, I don't know what all the options are here. I feel like you got like four different options before, but it seems like she talks to you about stuff on I that I might edit option. that out actually, because I don't even, I don't even have that, uh, typed in and I don't want anyone accessing my Pokemon stuff. <laughs> but either way, it accesses like, I guess the ID for the game or for the uh, system or whatever. And then this one, um, oh, this was the, that was the option for if you don't have Poke Transfer. So, uh, or Pokemover. So, the bottom, the, not that one. That one's just to be done with the game. However, now we go into the actual Pokemon Bank. It'll list what game you got in currently, which I don't actually know if it, uh, if it, like, oh, wait, it has an icon. So, if you have a digital copy in, then it'll give two different options or something. So, do I want to use this game cartridge? Yes, I do. And so it's loaded up and then it's going to display and it asks you, do you want to look at it? And I say yes. And as you can tell, this blue icon right here means this is the uh, box from the Pokemover uh, app. If you have something, even one Pokemon, I already knew that because I thought something was wrong with the game, like servers or something. And uh, I checked and I actually forgot to move one Pokemon. So uh, if you have even just one Pokemon in this, Pokemover will not move, uh, will not move Pokemon from 5th uh, gen to 6th gen. So be aware of that. Now, um, this is pretty simple. You can either move it to uh, the into the Pokemon bank or you can move it right into the game and uh, this is the game box which it has a lot of crap mostly in it because uh, this is my Japanese version my American version is my main version so I have to do a lot of trading to get that and I've done a lot of trading to do stuff in it however um, yeah it pretty much shows you every single box that you have in the game and I think you can even from here, like, you can have up to 31 boxes. And I think from here, you can even, uh, let's see. Um, this, this actually right here, the, the top option right here, lets you search a specific Pokemon. So if you wanted to move it somewhere, you could, although you can. Like, you don't have to... I mean, it's good for sorting, I guess. Uh, this option right here lets you choose uh, male, female, or unknown species. So, like, if I do, um, and, like, uh, no gender species, the only no gender species that I got in the box is Metang. And so, yeah, if you want a specific species of Pokemon, or specific uh, gender for Pokemon, you can use the yellow option. And just press again to uh, reset that. And, um... Oh, wait. The yellow option, pretty much, yeah. You s search specific uh, types and stuff. And, uh... Marking, stats... I have no idea what that is. And... Oh, IDs. Specific IDs. Um... Yeah, it's pretty good with the sorting. Um... Now, something that you can do on here, on the Pokebank itself, you can change the name of the boxes as you see fit. So, like... Oops. So, now it's labeled Box 2. And, I mean, you can choose specific uh, box names for spe specific things. Now, this is the part that I find cool. You see how this right here, it's uh, something, something, something one out of 100. This option right here, I find really cool. 
This option lets you put boxes in specific, like, other boxes, like a specific type of box. Like, say, if you have a competitive box, you can uh, put competitive for the box, because, like, if you go to, was it, no. Uh, it, if you go to this option, you can change the name of this box to whatever you want. So, if you title it competitive or something, you can have competitive, you can have, uh... However, like, if you're trying to collect them all, all like Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur, etc., etc., you can move those Pokemon, and you can move that to, like, box number two and change that to a specific name. And you can say, uh, you can go to this option and say, I'd like to move, uh, I'd like to move, oh, I... The, the current box is what it does. That's what it does. Okay. So... If you don't want, say, that box back, you want that in this box, then it'll be back in box uh, number one. So, um, and, like, yeah, if you wanted box number uh, 100 in this box, then you could just say, I want to move it to here. And now it's going to be in box uh, number two of the sorted thing. So... I really like that aspect because if you have like a specific, like, I, I have a hard time trying to have so many boxes in my one game because there's a, bre like, my current game has so many Pokemon of certain types that I uh, don't have enough room to be breeding too much in that game. So this would come in really handy for those that are trying to breed certain Pokemon so you can store them into this app and then from there, uh... From there, use your game as a breeding place, and, uh, like, if you wanted to try to get a shiny, uh, my, my attempt at getting shinies are just, uh, let the Pokemon breed up to, like, a hundred eggs or something, and put them all in a box, or put each egg in a box, and then s as soon as you get a hundred eggs or something, start trying to hatch them, because I feel like you get a bit better chance or something than just randomly like kind of like how you know how rng works with specific times in the past games or whatever if you get closer to the certain times like certain times like say breed five eggs put them in breed another five eggs put them in breed another five eggs put them in etc yeah that would work better than say breed five eggs then start hatching it and you will be getting some space between those times while the breeding point pretty much breeding uh 100 eggs gets you closer to closer times than say if you breed five eggs and then you might come back to the game later or something and yeah but either way i really like this app because you got 100 boxes so that's what three thousand 3,000 Pokemon that you can put in, and you can sort the boxes from 10 different spaces, and I really can't wait for it to come out in America, so then I can actually not use this one, and uh, use my regular games as a place for storage. So, um, and then, just to show you all something, uh, let me turn the sound off real quick. I've, uh, already uploaded a few Pokemon from to my English game, so I know most people probably want to see like legends in legends in uh, the certain in uh, English or whatever. So let me just try to get the sound working before I plug it in or start the sound back up, which. Come on! Are you really not wanting to work with me, sound? I'm gonna have to get another one of these freaking... Oh my god, this thing is being stupid! Okay, do I have to... Okay, let's just not move, Luke, and now... Let's go over specific things while I turn the sound on. Now, 
We already got Articuno. We already know what Articuno looks like. We already know what Zapdos looks like. And I don't have, uh... Don't have Moltres in my box because it's in my battle box. But we do not... Well, actually, if you saw... You can see a picture in the game. But that's what, uh... That's what Raikou looks like. That's what Entei looks like. But in shiny form because that's the special event one. And it's got Flare Blitz, too. <laughs> um... You got Suicune, and then we get the Reggies, which, holy crap, that defense. <laughs> uh, got Reggie Ice, you got Reggie Steel, then you got, yeah, you got, oh yeah. <laughs> then we also have you, um, Latios in also shiny form. In a moon ball, which matches its color. Um, then we also have, uh, let's see, uh, we have Uxi, have Miss Spirit, which is not that good. We got Azelf. Then we also got Hatron, Reggie Gigas, which sucks beyond belief and should not be qualified as a legend. Cresselia in shiny form. Then we also have Cobalion. We got Ter Terrakeon. I don't... Terrakeon. Uh, then we also got Verizian. As well as... I don't have... I only have... I don't have, like, six of them, so I can't show off all the forms. But we got uh, Tornadus in his uh, Therian form. We got uh, Thunderous in his... Uh, Regular form. I can't remember what the regular form is. Forgin? I think that's Giratina, though. Uh, and then we also got uh, Landorus, which is in uh, Therian form as well. Then moving on to Legends. We already know what Mewtwo looks like. What? You didn't know? What? Uh, we got Lugia, which... Also, if you pay attention to the icons down below, if you pay attention... The icons look so much clearer than uh, what they used to in the uh, in Gen 5, which is kind of surprising because that means they even updated what the icons looked like from uh, Gen 5 or from Gen 5 to Gen 6. So, yeah, that's something that I like to point out as well. Um, so, moving on, we also have Ho Oh. Then. We have uh, another shiny of Kyogre, which something that I made a mention of in uh, Twitter. He's so big that his status icon does not appear or it's off screen. And uh, I don't even think Serebi has a picture of Kyogre yet with a full picture because of this status screen screw up. So the only way you can see the entire body is in a battle which I posted a picture of and it takes up the entire middle screen I mean look at right now it's on the bottom or it's on the uh, top screen and it's off the screen and it is already in the middle of the screen so imagine it just a little bit more so holy crap game freak you made this freaking thing a behemoth <laughs> uh, we also have Groudon then also Rayquaza which kind of is going off screen too but on top form then we have Dialga and then Palkia in shiny form which is in a cherished ball because it's a uh, it's an event one as well as Giratina is an event one and it's shiny too um, we got Reshiram which is a uh, which is just a regular one and you cannot get a shiny of this at all if you see one in shiny form it's a hack same thing with Zekrom <laughs> I forget if Kyurem you can get it shiny or not but whatever um then we have Bambi and Hivel but however this is the part where people want to see these are the Pokemon they want to see we got Mew which is shiny form I had an emerald game that was Japanese so I was able to get uh, Mew uh, I was able to get Mew in Japanese so 
Hooray for that. Um, we also have Celebi, which, uh, I forget how to get the Celebi in Pokemon Bank. I might have to go back to the option for that, but, uh, look around or something. We got Jirachi. We also have, uh, Deoxys in Shiny Form, which you could get a Shiny Form in the other versions as well, but I decided to get... While I was doing the Japanese Mew, I was trying to get the Japanese Deoxys. Um, we got Manaphy. Then we also got Darkrai, which Darkrai looks awesome. Like, how this looks. And then we also have Shaman in shiny form as well. Uh, got Arceus. We got Victina. Victini. Then we also have Keldeo, Meloetta, and Genesect, which it's the Japanese movie one, which is an awesome looking Genesect, because it's red, and uh, it also has some special moves, as you can tell. So, um, that's about everything. Um, as far as that, I mean, unless, of course, you want to see, like, I don't know, uh, like Chimchar or uh, uh, Cyndaquil or something like that, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, there was one thing I wondered. Uh, I did a quick trade or something. Wanted to show this off. Wanted to show this off. Fag. I don't even know how to pronounce its name because I know the. Uh, um, <laughs> it used to get censored and still does get censored if you put it in a certain way. But you know what this reminds me of? These hands remind me of Wall Masters from Wind Waker. Or not Wall Masters, Floor Masters. They remind me of Floor Masters in Wa Wind Waker. And he just looks freaking awesome. Like, the 3D on his hands, if you can see what the 3D looks like. It looks like it's going to come out and get you, so it looks like a Floor Master as well. So, I just got to say, Pythagoras, Pythagoras, Grigis, is the coffin Pokemon. I might want to put it on my, I might want to breed and put one on my team because this thing looks awesome. <laughs> and it's also exclusive to 5th Gen as well. So, um... With that, I hope you all enjoyed this little 20-minute uh, or so video that explaining about PokeTransfer as well as PokeBank and showing off some of the uh, showing off some of the uh, other stuff that, like, the Pokemon that you can get. And with that, hope to catch you all next time, and I hope you all have a great day.